We're going to move along, guys, because we're kind of running out of time. Um, real quick, ladies and gentlemen, again, when you're trying to identify the transformations, the best thing I like to do is choose your focus point. For these two problems, the focus point was our turning point, which was our vertex. Okay? For this, it's a little bit different. Um, this, is also your double, this is also your turning point, so I'd focus on this. So if here's my point, that point is over here. So what had happened to that graph? That graph got moved, shifted to the right, correct? So if it's shifted to the right, that means that's the value of h. Since it got shifted to the right, that's going to be 3, right? Then you can see it also got shifted up. So k is equal to 1. Then the other thing is you kind of notice is, as far as stretching and compressing, remember if a was larger than 1, it would kind of stretch it. But you guys can see the relationship of this point to the next two is over 1, up 1, right? Well, if it was being stretched, it would be like over 1, up 2, or up 3. And if it was compressed, it would be like over 1, up 1 half, or up 1 fourth. Well, this looks like the same ratio, right? Over 1, up 1, right? So their a is still going to be, absolute value is still going to be 1. However, the direction of these two graphs do not look the same, do they? No. So therefore, you can look at this. This would be like a reflection. So a is equal to negative 1. Therefore, the equation of this graph is negative 1 times x minus h plus 1. Done. Huh? Oh, cute. Uh, I'm sorry. Ah, that's cubed. OK. Last thing we're going to do real quick, and then you guys are going to take your quiz. Okay, 